Hello, welcome to Bottoms Down, chair yoga for everyone. I'm Carol, I am so glad you've joined us. Today is day 19 of our 30 day around the body journey together. This is the second time through to include weight loss in our yoga practice. We'll focus on poses to get our bodies moving with boat pose to engage our body's natural fat burning capability. This series of classes launched three years ago and remains one of the most popular. Let's experience our chair yoga practice as a community together. Hello and welcome to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol and I'm so glad you've joined us today. So I hope you're enjoying our new format with some shorter and longer classes. We've added some new sections to the Bottoms Down YouTube channel homepage to make it easier to find the classes by length or by purpose or body area. So be sure and check it out. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. Don't forget it's free and we'd love to hear from you, so leave me a comment. Now in today's practice, we're going to explore some poses to get that body moving and engage your body's natural fat burning capability. You'll only need your chair for today's practice, and let's get started. All right, so we're going to sit up nice and tall in our chair. Let's go ahead and move forward a little bit, right, so we're not leaning back. We're going to place both feet firmly on the floor, and we, we call this grounding. So I want you to think about those four pressure points. So there's one behind the big toe, behind the little toe, and the two points of the heel. And think about having all four of those pressure points equally weighted on the floor. And the next thing I want you to think about are your sits bones. So we want to have them e have equal weight in both of those sits bones so they're grounded to the chair, okay? Next, we're going to lift our heart up and lower our shoulders out of our ears, right? So we want to engage that belly. So the minute you lift your heart, you should begin to feel the activation through those abdominal muscles. We're going to place our hands lightly on our thighs, palms facing up, if that works for you. Close your eyes. And if you don't like closing your eyes, you can just soften and look down, but connect to that heart center. So just connecting to your breath, feeling that natural inhalation and exhalation. Let's go ahead and elongate the breath, inhaling a little more deeply, exhaling a little more completely. Let's do that again. Inhale to four counts. And exhale to five counts. One more time. Inhale to four counts, just your own counting. Exhale to five counts. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intentions for today's practice. One more breath. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. Ah, let's take another deep breath in. And release it. Beautiful. We're going to roll our shoulders up and back and down. Let's do that again. Rolling them up and back. And down and reverse it. Let's do that. So trying to like feel what's happening in your body as you're rolling these shoulders, right? What's happening in your neck and in those shoulders? How does it feel? Lovely. All right. Just kind of move around a little bit if you want to. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and drop our right ear to our right shoulder. All right. Let's reach up with that right hand, and we're just going to lay it gently on the head. We're not going to pull or tug. We're just going to let the weight of this hand give a little extra stretch. Go ahead and extend that other arm out. And one more breath here. Oh, yeah. Let's release it. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead and look up. Whew, lift that head up is what I meant to say. Let's go to the other side. So first of all, we're going to let that head fall. Now, this may be enough for you, right? If you've got pretty tight uh, um, muscles here in the neck, this may be all you want. It's fine. But if you want to go ahead and add that hand, we're just going to lay it gently on that head, right? We're not pulling or tugging. We're just letting the weight of it extend a little bit more into that stretch. Let's go ahead and take that other hand, and we're lengthening that arm out. Oh, yeah. One more breath here. Let's bring one arm in, release the head, and bring it up. Oh my goodness, let's roll one shoulder at a time. How about it? Ugh. And reverse it. It feels good. Whatever works for you, right? If you prefer the two shoulder roll, that's good. It doesn't matter, right? It's just kind of what works for you. Okay, we're going to move into a cat and a cow. This is our spinal warm up. We do them every time. They're so important, though. So we're going to place our hands lightly on our thighs, pull that belly in, tuck the chin round the shoulders, right? So we're creating that little cat look. All right, one more breath here. Now we're going to lift up. We're going to grab the back of our chair, squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back, and lift your heart. So here is a cow pose. So we've got a few, few options for cow pose. We're going to do this option today. All right, let's go back to cat. Here we go. Release those hands in your lap. Pull your belly button in. Tuck your chin. Look down at your lap. All right, let's do one more breath here. And we're going to lift back up, and we're going to grab the back of our chair and lift. Oh, yeah. That should feel really, really good. And release. Give me more ro shoulder rolls. I don't care. Two at a time, one at a time. You can move around a little bit, right? You can move that head a little bit. It's all good, right? Kind of a free form, what feels good to you. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to move into our mountain pose. So we're going to start in goal post arms. Let's extend those fingers a little bit. Now, if you have arthritis in your hands, I wouldn't do this, right? It's okay. Just stay here. But if you don't and you want to stretch those fingers a little bit in our uh, goal post arms, do so. All right. Now we're going to release those fingers. We're going to stay in goal post arms, and we're just going to lean our mountain. Okay? Now, thinking about stretching this hip down, so we want to really be feeling a lot of stretch in this side waist. Let's come up, and we're going to lean our mountain the other way. Oh, that should feel really, really good. All right, let's come up. Now, we're going to lean our mountain, and then all I want you to do is keep your arms right where they are. Don't move your arms, but I want you to turn, and I want you to look up at the ceiling. You might feel a little more stretch in that side waist. Are your sits bones still on the chair, right? Are your feet still on the floor? All right, let's take that twist out. Let's come up and we're gonna go the other way. And then we're gonna turn and we're gonna look up at the ceiling. Mm, that should feel really, really good. Beginning to stretch out that side waist a little bit more. One more breath here, look center and come up, bring those hands down. All right, does that feel good? Okay, last thing before we move on. We're gonna take this hand and we're gonna place it on the outside of that knee, okay? Opposite hand is gonna go on the chair behind me. Extend the spine long, turn and look over your shoulder. So just a seated twist. We're breathing here, one more breath and release and let's come the other way. Here we go. This hand is out, this hand back behind your chair. Lift and twist. Don't hold your breath, just your natural breath here. One more breath and face forward.
forward. All right, let's grab a sip of water. Okay, in our next section, this is a series called Boat Pose. Now we're gonna build into this, and so um, I'm gonna give you lots of options, and you're just gonna kinda pick and choose what works for you, okay? But I'm gonna give us, uh, we're gonna add on, add on, add on, and you know with me, you don't ever have to add on, okay? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a puff of our chair, all right? So you're gonna hang on. We're just gonna lift one knee up, do you feel your belly engage? Put that knee down. That's what I want you to feel. I want you to lift that other knee up, feel that activation of your abdominal muscles, and put that leg down. Let's do it again. Lift, and down, and lift, and down. Okay, so feeling how your belly is pulling in. I want those, uh, you know, belly button to spine. Feel those abdominal muscles activate. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to keep holding onto our chair. We're going to lift one knee up, then the other knee up. Then put that knee down and put the other knee down. Okay, so here we go. Lift and lift and down and down. Other side. Lift and lift and down and down. Repeat. Lift and lift, down and down. Other side. Lift and lift and down and down. Okay, checking in. How's that feeling? Feeling okay? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to lift both knees up and we're going to hold it there for a few breaths, okay? Holding onto our chair. Let's lift up, lift up and hold and breathe. All right, we're breathing. We're breathing. Our belly is tight. We're not rounding our spine, right? Keep that spine long, lift that heart up, belly is tight. One more breath, put one foot down, put the other foot down and see how that felt. Okay, so the next progression for this pose, this series, is we're gonna try to do that whole thing just that we just did without holding onto the chair. Now, I know if you wanna grab the chair, it's fine, right? That's what the chair is for, it's okay. If you wanna try it with me, what I like to do is have my palms facing up. Shoulders are back, squeeze those shoulder blades behind you, okay? Now I will tell you one more quick little thing. You will be leaning back some, okay? So don't think that you've gotta keep the head totally up to the ceiling. You will be leaning back a little bit to create, you, you come back onto that tailbone so that you can create that balance to pull that belly in. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. We're gonna lift and lower and lift and lower again. Lift and lower and lift and lower. Last time, lift and lower and lift and lower. Okay, now we're gonna lift one knee, lift the other knee, that knee down, the other knee down, right? Without holding, but we're gonna lift them. Here we go. Lift and lift and down and down. Other side, lift and lift and down and down. Other side, lift and lift and down and down, lift and lift and down and down. So how did that feel? Checking in, right? If it's bugging your back, hold on to the chair. Try not to round, try not to use the back. I want you to really concentrate on activating those abdominal muscles. Okay, now what we're going to do next is we're gonna try to just hold both of those knees up without holding the chair. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Let's lift up and up and hold. So we're balancing up on that tailbone. Our belly is tight. Heart is lifted, right? Extending that spine long. We're holding and we're breathing. You might be shaking a little by now. It's okay. One more breath and release. Okay. Ha. Ah. Next next version of this series. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna lift one knee up, lift the other knee up, okay? So we're holding onto the chair and we're balanced. So now, instead of putting the toes down, we're gonna extend that leg up and bring it in. Extend the other leg out and bring it in. Do that again. Out and in and out and in. One more. Out and in and out and in. Come back down. Let's do a little cat and cow. Are you feeling that low back? My heart rate is up. I've got a little, 
I'm breathing heavy, which is the whole idea, right? Okay, can we do that very last one without holding the chair? Give it a try, see what you think. I'm moving a little further forward in my chair so that whenever I balance up on that tailbone, I've got some space for the back of my chair, okay? All right, are we ready? Here we go. Let's all, everybody just come up first, balance. Whew. Now remember, if you want to do the foot down, the foot down, the foot down, the foot down, that's fine. If you're with me, here we go. We're going to extend and in. Extend and in. Belly tight. Extend and in. Are your legs shaking? Mine are. And in. One more. Extend and in. Last time. Extend in. Hold. Breathe. Extending. Spine long. One more breath and release. Oh, baby. How did that feel? Let's do a little cat and cow. Oh, yeah. Let that heart rate come back down. Open up. Mmm. Wanna do that again? All right, very good. And open, all right. Ha, very good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna work into is a vinyasa, and remember, all a vinyasa is is that we add some poses together, right? And we make a little flow out of them. So we're gonna start in a warrior two. And in your warrior two, we're going to extend our left leg long. Notice that I'm kind of up on the edge of that foot over there. Okay, do you see that? And you can be a little forward in your chair. It's okay if that if this you know cuts into your inner thigh. It's okay. You can move forward. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take two heel toes with this foot, and now I want you to take this knee and make sure it's right in alignment with your second toe. Okay, so we're not going to let that knee fall in. We're going to keep that knee open. So you have to actively do that, right? Naturally, the knee's going to want to fall in. I want you to actively pull it open, work your inner thigh, okay? So here's our legs for our warrior two with extended. Now, let's bring those arms into play. Paying attention to where is your center of your body. We tend to want to be forward with those ribs. I want you to pull the ribs center, right? So we want that energy flow, if you will, to go up and down without any uh, obstruction. Now, we're going to take that right palm, flip it to the ceiling, lift it up. Left hand is on this back thigh for a reverse warrior. We're going to come back to that warrior two, and now we're going to move into a side angle pose. So I'm going to take the fleshy part of my right arm, and I'm going to place it on the fleshy part of my right leg. Palm is facing up, arms extended. Now, let's take this hand that's in the air, place it on our waist, lift that heart up, and now extend that arm. One more breath here. Press back up into that warrior two. Let's reverse that warrior up and back. Back to your warrior two. Side angle pose. Extend that arm out. Place your hand on your waist. Lift your heart up. Extend that left arm out, right wrist to right ankle. Maybe you want to try that. It's okay. One more breath. Press back up into that warrior two. Reverse that warrior up and back. Back to warrior two. Side angle pose. Drop that right wrist by right ankle. Press back up into your warrior two. Reverse that warrior up and back. Back to warrior two. Squeeze the muscles against the bones in those arms. Squeeze, 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 and release it. How's that feel? A little stretching going on in the legs, a little activeness going on in the upper body. You should feel it. All right, let's do the other side. So I'm going to extend my left leg, my right leg long now, okay? So I'm up on that edge of that foot, right? So we're not I don't want you to have the toes pointed out. That puts so much pressure on that knee, and it's activating the inner, the, uh, the quadricep. We want the foot to be at an angle, takes pressure off the knee, and we're activating that inner thigh, which is where we want to be working. So take two heel toes with that front leg. I'm going to move forward just a little bit, right? Okay, we want knee in alignment with that second toe. Heart is lifted. Bring those arms out. Here's your beautiful warrior two. All right. Check in on those ribs, right? We want the ribs to be right in the center. You can feel it. You can feel it when those ribs aren't right. Is that knee wanting to come in? It probably is. I want you to actively think about pulling that knee in. 
Look over those left fingertips. Flip the left fingers to the ceiling, the left palm to the ceiling. Now it's going to come up. You're trying to reach the ceiling first. Then you're going to reverse that warrior and feel that stretch in the side waist. All right, come back to warrior two. Now the fleshy part of the left arm is on the fleshy part of that left leg. Arms extended. Put your hand on the waist. Lift your heart. Extend that arm. One more breath. Let's come back to warrior two. Ready? Flip that palm up and back. Reverse your warrior. Back to your warrior two. Side angle pose. Put your hand on your waist. Lift. Extend. Now, do you want to take the hand back down by your leg? So I call it wrist by ankle. You can if you want. You can leave that out if you don't want to do it. Are we ready? Press back to that warrior two. Flip that palm up. Reverse that warrior up and back. Back to warrior two. Side angle pose. Lift that heart up. Place that wrist body ankle if you want. Oh my goodness, there's that inner thigh. Hello, one more breath. Press up to that warrior two. Squeeze the muscles against the bones in those arms. Activate that upper body. One more breath and release. Bring that leg in. Whew, how's that feel? All right, let's grab a sip of water. Okay, we're going to come to standing behind our chair. Now, it's kind of hard for you to see me when I'm back behind it, so I'm just going to turn my chair to the side, but you're going to stay facing me behind your chair, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to place both of our hands on the back of the chair, and we're going to take a step back. I want you to be able to touch the chair, okay? So I don't want you to be so far that you can't touch the chair. But then whenever you come forward, right? So it, once you come forward, you can look down and you're not right on top of the chair. Okay, does that, does that kind of make sense? All right, here we go. So we're gonna hinge forward. Our belly's gonna be super tight. And we're gonna let our heart fall forward. My hands are on the back of the chair. Now, I'm gonna lift this leg up towards the ceiling. And I'm just holding it and I'm breathing. So I'm flexing my foot and my toes are angled down towards the, the floor. My standing knee is a little bit soft. My belly is tight. I'm not letting my shoulders scrunch down, right? I'm activating. So kind of think about working into your rib cage, maybe lifting up from the upper ribs towards the back ribs. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm talking a lot. I'm trying to take your mind off the fact that your leg is probably really beginning to build some heat in that body, right? Oh yeah, we're holding it and we're breathing. So we're building that heat. The standing leg may be screaming at you about now. We're just gonna hold it for a couple more breaths. We've got this. One more breath, put that leg down, come up. Did I distract you enough <laughs> with all of my talking, right? That's good, that was, I mean, not only am I talking about form, which is super important, but it is a little bit distracting too sometimes when you're thinking about all these other things and then you kind of forget about, oh yeah, man, my leg is hurting. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna hinge forward. We're gonna put our hands on the, on the chair again, right? So you're gonna look down at the floor and now we're gonna lift that other leg up. Our toes are pressing down towards the floor. So we've got a flexed foot, is what I'm talking about. Now, this is not how high can I get my leg up towards the ceiling. That's really not what this is about at all. And I want you to make sure your hips are staying level. So the hip of the leg that's in the air is always going to want to hike up, but I don't want you to let it, right? So what, how do you do that? You pull that belly in super tight. Our standing knee is soft, right? So we don't want to have this knee locked out. We're holding and we're breathing. That back foot is flexed. We're just hanging out here for a couple more breaths. We've got this. One more breath. Put that leg down and come up and take a break. Okay, how'd that feel? 
All right, now, the next version of this is the leg is going to extend, and then we're going to bring our toes towards the floor, and then we're going to lift it up, and our toes towards the floor and lift it up. But here's the thing. What inevitably happens, I'll see this in my classes, is people will be doing this, right? That's not what this is about. This is about lifting and lowering and lifting and lowering. The top front part of my body is not moving. The only thing that's moving is that back leg, right? So we're glute and hamstring. Working big old muscles today, aren't we? Big muscles, these big old muscles. Okay, are we ready? Make sure that you can, t you're, you're stepping back, you can touch the chair. We're gonna hinge forward. We're gonna lift that leg back, flex, standing knee is soft. Get those hips square, look down at the floor. Are we ready? Toes touch the floor, lift it up. Toes touch the floor, lift it up and hold. Toes touch the floor, lift it up and hold. Toes touch the floor, lift it up and hold. Three more. Toes down, lift, hold. Two down, lift, hold. Last one, lift and hold, breathe. One more breath, put that foot down, take a break. Okay, other side, here we go. Hinge forward, other leg lifts up. Are we ready? Here we go. Down, lift it up. Toes down, lift it up, hold. Toes down, lift it up and hold. Toes down, lift it up and hold. Four more, lift it up and hold. Three more, lift it up and hold. Two more, lift it up and hold. Last one, we've got this. Lift it up, hold it. Put that foot down and take a break. We have one more thing. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to do any more of those, Carol. <laughs> okay, one more. So this one, if you want to peek at me real quick, what we're going to do, is we're going to bring nose to knee and press it back. And nose to knee and press it back, okay? All right, are we ready? Step it back. Hinge it forward. Take that leg back first, flex. Standing knee is soft, here we go. Nose, knee to nose, press it back. Knee to nose, and press it back. Knee to nose, and press it back. Knee to nose, press it back. We got three more. Knee to nose, press it back. Two more, knee to nose, press it back. One more, press it back. Put that foot down, other side. Here we go. Lift it up. Knee to nose. Press it back. 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 Three more. Knee to nose. Press it back. Two more. Knee to nose. Press it back. One more. Knee to nose. Press it back. Put that foot down and take a break. Everybody good? Okay. I'm going to turn my chair back around. Okay. So now what we're going to do is a crescent lunge. We're on the right side of our chair. You're going to hold on to the back of the chair. The leg that's not next to the chair, you're going to step it back, and you're going to be on those back toes into a crescent lunge suit. You know what? I think I'm going to keep it this way. I think you can see me better from here. Okay? So you're still facing me. I'm just gonna turn this way so you can see me a little bit better. So I'm up on those back toes, right? I'm holding onto the chair. Now, this hand, I'm just gonna place it here, kind of on my waist or kind of on this leg. Front knee is bent. We're letting the center of the body sink down. Okay, so it's not, I'm not coming forward I'm keeping my heart lifted. The center of the body is sinking down. Do you see that? Should be feeling this front leg quite a bit. All right. Now, I'm going to let my heart fall forward. Then I'm going to lift up. Hold on to that chair. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back. So the opposite arm is at 
goal post. Let's let that heart come forward. Press it back. Let that heart come forward. You feel it? Press it back. One more. Hang on. Car comes forward. Now, see if you can let go of your chair and both arms are in, in goal post arms. If you want to hold on, it's fine. It's honestly, it's fine. But if you want to let go, now you're going to twist and you're going to look at me or twist to the right. It doesn't matter. You're going to do both sides. Come back in center and we're going to twist and look the other way. We're going to come back center, grab your chair, bring that back foot forward and take a break. How does that feel? I know, right? Okay, we're going to do the other side. Now, you can go to the other side of your chair if that feels better for you, or you can stay on the same side of your chair. You've got it. You can hang on to it. So whichever works for you, I'm just going to stay right here. I'm going to, the other leg is going to step back into my crescent lunge, okay? I'm going to give you plenty of time to get into it. So don't, if you're trying to get to the other side of the chair, don't worry. Don't, you know, panic. Oh my gosh. It's okay. Because we really do want to hold this pose, this lunge for a bit. Okay. So again, I'm holding onto my chair. My other hand is just kind of hanging out here. It doesn't matter. Important thing here though, is that heart is not forward, right? I'm not taking my weight forward. My weight is centered of the body. My heart is uh, lifting up, crown of the head to the ceiling, and I'm just sinking down. You should be really feeling this by now. <laughs> you know, yeah, Carol, can we move on? All right, are we ready? We're gonna let our heart fall forward. Now we're gonna lift it up, squeeze the shoulder blades behind the back. Heart comes forward. Lift it up. Squeeze those shoulder blades behind your back. Down we go. See if you can let go of the chair. Play with it, right? It's okay. If that doesn't work for you, it's all right. Down we go. Okay, goal post arms. Squeeze. Are we ready? We're gonna twist one direction. It doesn't matter. Let's come center, twist the other way. We're revolving our crescent lunge. We're coming back center. Now, listen to my voice. See, can you bring that back foot up and come into a chair pose? Oh yeah. Can you forward fold? Ha. Roll it up nice and slow. We're gonna do it one more time on the other side, just for fun. Come, just come to that crescent lunge, other leg. All right, ready? We're going to revolve it. Let's revolve it. Oh, yeah. Let's come center. Let's revolve it the other way. Let's come center. Bring your hands to your heart. You're going to bring that back leg up into a chair pose. And forward fold. And roll it up nice and slow. How does that feel? Ooh, yeah, right? That was challenging. Okay, let's come to seated. And grab a sip of water. Okay, we're gonna move into that half Lord of the Fishes pose. So we're gonna take our right knee, open it nice and wide. Feel that inner thigh stretching. Take that arm, bring it all the way across your body, grab the chair, crown of the head lifts towards the ceiling, and then we're gonna turn and look over the back of our chair. Let's release that and do that one more time. Lift and twist. And release it, okay. We're gonna let this knee fall down towards the floor. Press your foot back behind you if you want it that way. You're up on those back toes, heart is lifted, crescent lunge. Ah. Let's release that knee and do that one more time. Pressing the back of the kneecap up, heart is lifted. 
and release. Good. Face forward. We're going to let this uh, uh, leg extend that leg out, toes towards the ceiling. All right. Lift. Let that heart fall forward, keeping the back flat. Let's go ahead and lift up and do that one more time. Don't forget to extend the spine first, then let that heart fall forward. And release it. Okay, we're gonna do our pigeon pose. So you've got options here. You can cross your ankle to ankle if that feels better for you, or you can cross ankle to knee. Ha! Ah, let's extend the spine long and let our heart just fall forward. You should be feeling a pretty good stretch through this hip and glute here. Let's lift up and rock our baby. So we're just kind of moving that joint a little bit. All right, let's do that again. Extend the spine long. This time I'm going to put my elbow here on my knee and I'm going to put my chin on my fingers and press. And if you don't like this, it's okay. Just do the other version. It's all good. One more breath. And rock that baby. Okay. And the final version, you've got two others. If you'd rather either of those two are fine. Or extend your hands up towards the ceiling, out as far towards the wall in front of you as you can go. And then let those hands just drop towards the floor. Ha! Ah, release that and let's do the other side. So we're going to take this knee and open it nice and wide. Bring that hand all the way across your body. Grab the chair. Crown of the head lifts. Turn. Look over the back of your chair and breathe. Let's release that and do it again. Ah, lift and twist. And release. This knee falls towards the floor, pushing that foot behind you, lifting your heart into your crescent lunge. Let's release that and do it again. So it's kind of thinking about pressing the back of the kneecap up towards the ceiling and you'll really get a nice stretch in the front of that leg. Ah, and release it face forward. Okay, this leg is going to extend out, toes to the ceiling, lift through the spine, let that heart fall forward. Let's go ahead and come up, do that one more time. Extend and hinge. Ah, okay, pigeon pose. We're going to cross either ankle to ankle or ankle to knee. Lengthen through the spine and let that heart fall forward, feeling that stretch in this hip and glute. All right, let's lift our heart up, rock our baby. And do that again. Extend first. Oh, let's put that elbow here, chin on fingers, pressing gently. And up we go. Rock your baby. And you can do either of those two versions, or if you like this one, extend the arms up to the ceiling, out towards the wall in front of you, and let that heart fall forward. And release. All right, let's sit back in our chair. You can lean back now. Just place your hands lightly on your thighs, palms facing up. Close your eyes or soften your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Give today. Give new life to your highest expectations. Give fresh energy to your best thoughts. Give extra gratitude to the beauty of the moment. Give special love to all those who share this day with you. 
Give today the opportunity to be filled with meaning, with hope, with goodness. Give today your care, your attention, and your peaceful presence. See the unique value of every moment. Make that value your own, add to it, and share it without hesitation. Give today your intention to live it well. Recognize what a special time this can be for you, for all those around you, and make it so. Give today your best, and today will return the favor many times over. Take a deep breath in, and a full breath out. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with your right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with your left hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. Remember, if you would click on that subscribe button, I would appreciate it. Leave me a comment and I will see you next time.